Welcome to the Be Chic Studio. Let's get started. We are using Country Chic paint, an inexpensive chip brush to get the best shabby chic farmhouse look. Grab this little stool from Goodwill for only $2.99. Very inexpensive. So if you want to try your first project, this is a great one to get started with. This is the most creamy, yummy paint ever. Great coverage. My plan is to get started on the legs first. You want to use enough, but not too much. You don't want it dripping. That's very important, guys. No drips. Make sure that you go up and down and side to side. And once I get all of these legs painted, I'll move on to the top. Make sure you start with your legs, guys. This is so important. You don't want to start on the top, then have to turn it over, and then your top is ruined. So start with the legs. Get those painted and then turn it back around. Almost done guys, we're going to get started on this last leg and then move on to the top. I really wanted to take my time to kind of show you about Country Chic paint and also show you how to do the legs. When I first started painting, painting legs was not the easiest thing. It seemed like it would be easy, but they're tricky because you've got to get inside. So I'm going to get started. Are you so excited, guys? We're finally going to do the top. So I go around the edges first, and then after I get the edges done, I start on the top. Before we move on to the top, I just wanted to show you with the chip brush, it's not going to get in every single little crack. That was intentional and that's why I used it. I really, really was going for that super cute shabbed farmhouse look and I think I'm going to achieve it. The best part, the top. So make sure that you use a very, very even stroke back and forth and go with the grain as you can see here I'm showing you. It goes the long way or you can take a look down the center of, of the grain and see which way it goes. Make sure you paint that way, guys. Don't use uh, quick, uh, snappy strokes that, that will build up the paint and then you have more to sand. It doesn't leave it with an even kind of uh, coat. And you can use a little bit more on the top. Don't have to be as sparing, but you don't want to use too much because again, those drips are never fun. It's not the end of the world. It's just going to create more work for yourself, guys. What you're seeing here now is I'm using my blow dryer to get that top layer nice and dry. This is a water-based paint, and you can imagine water-based paint will reactivate if it's not dry enough to go over with your second coat. Make sure when you're using your blow dryer, don't uh, get stuck on one spot too long. It's really important to not burn your paint, because you can. Just like you can burn yourself with a blow dryer, you can burn your paint. However, if you do like that crackle effect, on part of the top here ends up with a little bit of crackle because I had a little bit thicker of a layer, and when you apply heat to it, it, it naturally wants to crack. Now that's not a, you know, a given, it can not do that but in this case it did just a little bit and because i was looking for that shabby chic farmhouse look i'm completely okay with that if i wasn't i could just sand it back down and apply another soft little even coat and i'm done and it's that simple so make sure you're going back and forth even strokes as soon as you are completely covered in your project you might need to add a little bit like you're seeing here but make sure you go back and get that even layer so that there's no drips and it's 
nice and even. That even is the word of the day. I have been so excited to show you guys these. These are the farm animal decor stamps from IOD, Iron Orchid Design, guys. Look at these, the detail on these, beautiful. Iron Orchid Design is awesome. I'm gonna work with the chicken tonight. Oh my gosh, this thing is so cute, guys. Look at it, it has got every feather and every single detail. I opened this brand new because I just got them in. I'm so excited. Oh, I see that a lot, but I just can't help it. I'm always so excited about this. Make sure that you rough it up a little bit because they're brand new and they're silicone. And if you put your paint, your ink, whatever medium you're deciding to use, it's um, gonna just kind of slosh around because it's silicone. And this gives it a little bit of tooth so it has something to hang on to. Get it positioned, guys, and then I'm going to use a stamp here it's a little bit of a brown color and I am just so excited to show you guys this wait for it guys just press your pad down just a little bit don't use too much pressure if you do um, and like I just did here take a rag wipe it back off you don't want to turn that over and get it on project one of the best pieces of advice I can give when you're stamping is really try to be as neat as possible. This is obviously not a great example of it, but at least I get a chance to show you how to do it. Okay, this is the great part. Lay it down where you want it, tickle it. Don't press hard, do not press hard, guys. If you do, it's going to spread out and you will not be able to see those beautiful details. <gasps> Look at that, it is so beautiful, guys. I love it, love, love, love. Look at that, it's all done. I am so excited. I cannot stop saying excited because I have been waiting for these stamps. I have um, so excited about this stool. This stool will be in my shop. I can't imagine it's going to stay very long but I'm touching it so you guys can see. It doesn't take very long to dry. Then I'm going to kind of distress it back a little bit. It was a little bit too stark for my likings. So I'm using a, a sand block, but I wrapped around the sand block 220 grit sandpaper just so that it wasn't um, too soft. I would be scrubbing for too many hours and I just don't want to do that. But just so you know, I keep my sand blocks. I don't really throw them away. They become like buffers in a way. I'm gonna sand a little bit on the edges and wipe off. I'm gonna see if I, mm, oh my gosh, I love it. Look guys, that's so cute. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. It is such a fun project. It was a pretty simple one, but I'm gonna shab the sides here just so that you guys can see the look that I'm going for. See if I can get a little closer. Yeah, just a little bit more. This is just adorable. Once I get all the sanding done, guys, I am gonna show you this. I cannot wait. One more wipe down and it is time to show this beauty to you guys. Wow, I love, love, love it. Look guys. Oh, it is perfect. I am so excited to put that farmhouse stripe down the side that, oh my gosh, it is so cute. I am just impressed with what IOD has to offer. Of course, Country Chic paint is so easy to use and so forgiving. You will not be disappointed in this. Um, I just took a little bit of the sandpaper and rubbed off a little bit on the sides. I didn't want it to be too crazy. I didn't go heavy on the paint. That means I don't have to distress as much, so little bit of a trick don't use too much and you can stress back but you can see here look at that it is just so pretty oh I love it so much thank you so much for watching everybody we love having you here thank you so much for allowing us to be creative with you guys please thumbs up subscribe leave us some comments and let us know what you're thinking thank you so much and we will see you again